It's being all black, folks, and just for the educational, we'll show you what has happened with pole shifts with where the magnet in the Earth, the magna, when we have had a shift, what has happened. So, during the past five pole shifts, 16,000 BC, that's before Christ, and then you got that. So, those are our five known shifts. All right. I'm not going to show you any more because who knows what the next would be? Because as you see, one was very long, the first, in 16 BC. And then 12.4 BC, it was a short one, and then a long one, and then a long one. Because, as you can see, the distances. And then uh, in 16 BC, 1600 BC, that was a short one, it was the last one. So, uh, long ones follow shorts, that's about the only thing that, that you can conjecture there. Alright, so, anyway, research the ones, that look at my videos, because I made a video about uh, the craters on Earth, and it's actual scientific data, directly from databases, okay? Okay, a real quick share here is is going up on this, and this is the actual factual that when you look at the right hand side, it should be Mercury, and it's the magnetical, but as you see in the middle, right here, this is the magnetical line of another something out there, and it's probably a hell of a long distance from Mercury. Now, the one on the right that you're seeing kind of a straight line, and you'll see Mercury right there, you see that big black blotch? Well, that's Mercury, okay? And then the dark side of it, and the bright side here, that's the sun hitting that side of Mercury. Mercury's only the same size as the moon. So this thing isn't that damn big that I'm showing you, but it just basically, it could be the same size, or maybe maybe it is bigger than Mercury, but no matter what, we find an object back here, and it's not Venus, okay? So directly right now, when you go ahead and get the A-head H12 footage in about three days from Sechi, or Soho, or however fast you can get it, you can try to look at Mercury and look at the declinations and so forth and find that object right next to Mercury and as you see we'll stroll down and you'll see the magnetical line and this is a compression shot of course and like I say that is stereo ahead H12 okay and as you can see when we go up and down on stereo H1 there's Mercury so that basically that object is something over here somewhere and they do do a lot of paint over top on this shot and you'll see what I mean in a second because see you can see the pixels this is the colorization they do and so forth and so on so it definitely has to be somewhere here to the left in this shot now if I'm wrong and it's transverse then it's something either this one here or you know, and but that's the thing is, if you were to even see it, that's what it would look like on here. But at least you can, when you get the compression shot, you can find an object in a compression shot. As you can see that they were looking on a compression shot. And as you see, all this stuff there is there. And then they do the colorization, and you can see that there's stuff out there. Okay? But then it goes vast distances in space. So uh, let's go ahead and pop this down so you understand what I'm showing you real fast. Boom. 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 And then there's our map for the day. And we'll go ahead and we'll come down. And there's your map for the day. And basically it really doesn't change for a long time. You know, the stuff doesn't move that fast in space. And there's our shot that we're zoomed in on. And basically the other shot was a compressed shot, which would be that there one there. Okay, that was the one previous that showed you that there's an object up there by Mercury. Okay, and basically you're seeing that from ahead. And that's what you mercury, because Venus would be real big and bright if you were to say Venus. It's Venus is too close into the left hand side of the camera. You just barely get this Mercury on the left hand side of this shot. Okay. And here's the latest movie from and you see we'll go into the third on here. And this is from Lasco 2 and then we're going to go we're going to go to Lasco 3 so what we're going to do is we're going to go check the latest movie and as you've seen we had something huge come by again that's nothing new uh, we've seen bigger so we'll, we won't worry about that and as you see there there's your for the distance and the 
as you see these millions of miles you can see in space and basically infinity because basically you can see beyond you could see stuff bleed in at the very back of those mileages that they try to show you it's fast distances in space and I guess we'll just stay here for a second because we're gonna get a streak again here it's gonna come down so we can keep an eye open for it as it plays through and there was that just it I guess that was it so it was smaller so now let's go ahead and now as you see this is from the third and this is gonna be upside down compared to what I'll show you on the other one, okay? I don't know if I'll get the movie play thing in here and, and play this and stuff, but there's a ton of action over here that you're going to see on the black and white in a minute because, see, this is upside down for what I'll show you in black and white in a minute. Uh, basically, this is from when you're looking from Earth. That's where you would see that, and that should possibly, more than likely, be and tears that we're still seeing there. Okay, so we'll see what kind of action we get with the movie playing real fast. And hopefully it'll play pretty fast. So... There's our latest action from, and I'll take you to it in the black and white navy shot, and then we'll even refresh it and see what we get. Get over here and ready to get this queued up real fast. Boom. Got this blown up real fast already, and there we go. That's more than likely end tears, and as we can know, we see that it's more than likely magnetical. Now, I think I've got, uh, uh, basically, I'm going to blow down. And to the left here real fast, we're going to just flop by the sun, and you could freeze that. I'm, I'll go slow when I go back, but basically I want to show you all this stuff to the left and low. Now check that out there. Now that was the end of the border of the shot there, and I'll go left. And they put the arm back up on Navy. And I'm kind of PO'd that they did, but then maybe somehow it had to be done because of the brightness on the camera. So you can freeze this, but check all this stuff out. It's like we got galaxies or something like that. Uh, bleeding through all the way to the back big time so uh, definitely we're gonna have some great viewing when on the 21st no matter what okay I don't think anything's gonna happen you know and then check that out I'm not sure if that's one of the dragon things that themed or whatever but anyway that's an interesting array there up in the right corner so we'll pop out of this real fast and we'll just go to regular size we'll go to like 150 real fast and we'll come back down through this and this is what we were looking at so like we say, more than likely that's in tears right there. And then I'll refresh this shot. That's in tears more than like that. But all this activity that we're seeing here, that's huge stuff out in space, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? But they put the arm back up, as you can see. And then you have to flip this around, but this is basically the same shot, and I can refresh this shot. Now, we love the NASCO Navy shots, but as you can see, there must be some interesting something, or either that or just a huge CME again. So check that time. 54 UTC. Just 54 minutes after the hour of... All right, Zulu time. So, and as you can see, all that stuff up there. So basically, I'll pop up to that real fast. Uh, boom, boom, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then we'll scoot up and over and see all the stuff that we've got going on over there. By more than likely, we figure in tears. It's not dead on solid, but and so and tears is a little bit no. Nope. There you go. So there's a lot of stuff that you're able to see bleed through. Stuff bleeding through on the... And like we say, more than likely from what we can see, we're discovering that this stuff is all rotating clockwise to another star. Basically, so all this stuff possibly rotates around Antares or another big star. Antares is a huge star. So the idea that all this stuff could be rotating... Uh, We'd have to start keeping an eye on the footage. For what I've seen, it would more than likely be uh, probably maybe the same direction if it's rotating around, around Antares. It goes counterclockwise like everything does around the sun because everything rotates counterclockwise around the sun. And I got a video I'm going to end up showing you too, the idea that I'll be able to show you the corkscrew action. Okay, Remnants and stuff up by the sun there. Just check that out. Because that's even underneath, the, that's over top of even the the shader. So here's some straight up American gang man. Because we got three stars directly in front of the sun. Alright? Right there. So now remember this is behind shot, but we do have already found what we found at Nehemiah, so this is just more backup. There's no problem that there's stars, smaller ones or planets, right around by the sun as we will zip out of this real fast. Bam, 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 bam. And now it's what those stars were there or planets, whatever you want to call it, but that's on the back side of the sun. So, now, being this being uh, basically a head shot, 
that's basically to the right hand side of the sun there that's stuck there okay upper left hand because we're at navy I'm sorry upper left hand is where those would be because we're at a ahead and somewhere since it's ahead somewhere within a quarter of IU and just like I said left hand side within a quarter of IU or so that there is pretty much close by that stuff there so we pump this up real fast we can go to 400 here real fast and you'll see what I'm saying there that we've got the disc covering the sun and the flares of the sun and there you see that there is something up there by the sun and there's some other stuff over here too uh, but then it's hard to differentiate what's a CME but I really kinda doubt that that's a CME that should be an object there okay so now real fast seven days of data that rotates around and tears because you see that that stuff rotates to the right but it doesn't rotate to the right around the sun it rotates back there around and tears to the right of Antares, you see. So there's a ton of space is huge. All that stuff is way beyond one IU probably behind the sun. All that stuff there. It rotates right around Antares. So now don't freak out, folks. This isn't Nibiru, but this is back on the 20th, and we've been getting some of these huge streaks coming by. Now remember, there would probably have to be something what at least 10 times the size of this to even make anything kind of a magnetical problem on earth major league I would think so anyhow huge thing and it just flashes through here and basically I'll pop it back real fast and you can watch the footage on this and this was just like a day a while back so you see here I'm wanting to get the 1128th behind H1B okay and as you can see, they've got footage in recently of like 29th. So we should be able to get the 28th. And let's so we'll see what we get. Okay, and as you can see, it's frozen. As you can see, that's all it's doing is freezing right there. And we've seen this footage already, so. I'm dying to see the 28th footage because it's real calm here. And then you got Mercury and Venus looking really large up here, as you can see. But it's still reacting to a lot of CME action from the sun. And I dive right in and you can see at the solar panel the rotator. And as you can see the clock right there running. So I'll let you see that running for a minute and then we'll zoom in. Okay, you've seen that star rotating right there. And basically the other one out there. So you know it's rotating. And there you got your clock. And there we go and we'll zoom in. So as long as NASA doesn't change their speed and you've already seen that huge object before I've showed you footage of it and so the clock is going the same speed you've seen the clock was going in the lower left and as I do it I'll just pop over real fast and then we're going to zoom in as you can see it was going the same speed so I've got magnifier 300 I think and also the screen is at like 400 we're going to go up and over why am I getting a dull screen? Doesn't make any sense. I gotta pop out of this. Hang on. Why the heck are they giving me a dull screen to videotape? Okay, hang on. Boom. Move this out of the way. We'll pop back up to 300. I've never had that happen before. And there we go. And we're right in on it. So there's definitely something blinking, and they used to call it Blinky 229, I think it was. Yep, 229, Blinky 229. So Lumi 229, maybe, maybe not. Something's blinking. More soon. Can't get better than that. It's a blinking and it's there.
So, as soon as they upload another one, I'll show you some more. I guess we can go ahead and look at the other side real fast if I got tape left. So all the way to the other side on H1.